What up guys, it's Banana Owens here bringing you the next episode of uh, Shovel Knight. Now this one's going to be a, a little bit late. Uh, I had a few midterms this week and then I have a, a test tomorrow. So I'm hoping to get this up on a Friday, just a day late. Busy week, busy, busy week. Uh, in terms of the YouTube channel, uh, I put up a, a new Smash Brothers highlight, new uh, Project M highlight video. Uh, it's basically all the clips I have from January, and that was a lot of fun to make, actually. It was a pain to go through everything, but it turned out to be really, really well done. I actually think um, I, I have a new overlay, or a newish overlay. It's kind of just a modified one of the one I used before, but uh, that one looks really good, and i am actually got a, quite a few compliments on the uh, Super Smash Bros. Project M subreddit so very proud of that uh next thing for super smash brothers uh i'm gonna have a melee highlight video coming out within the coming week or so uh it's from january as well so it'll be the january melee highlight video so it's just one weekend's worth of a uh, melee clip so it won't be it'll be like a few minutes long at the most so it won't, won't be the like the 10 minute beast that this january highlights video was and then Speaking of which, so for so the plan is for the next highlight videos to just do them weekly. Um, I need to get caught up though. I have one weekend's worth again where I haven't got recorded yet, and of course we're probably gonna be playing this weekend, so I'll, I'll fall. I end up falling behind, so I need to to catch up. So so here's what the plan is. So for the Project M videos, the plan is to play on the weekend and then spend the week recording or the week going through all the gameplay and then editing and then having the video next video go up by the next weekend so it'll be a week delay from when i play the game so that's the plan um don't know if i'm gonna end up sticking to it it's gonna be a little bit difficult uh, to be honest just depending on how much time i have or even just my motivation to go through all those game fake clips i mean Going through all the Project M ones for a month's worth, so basically four weekends worth, that was pretty tough. That took a long time, even with uh, having like time codes and even with having like a, a general idea where, like where the good clips happened. That took forever. So I'm hoping to do it a little bit more, it to be better at it, but uh, it's still a process. I'm still kind of learning how to. To, how to edit, how to like get everything together, because it's different from when I did the Halo videos, because uh, they have like a, a theater mode in uh, in Halo. So what, what would happen was I would just like uh, write down the time code, and then you can go to theater mode and just save the one clip. And uh, it was very easy to do. Like you can write, there's two minutes left in the match, or something like that, and then you could find your clip, and then you can make actually film clips out of it. And you know you can do the, the theater and everything as well so it was very easy to that because you can literally have your clips made without even getting the capture card ready yet and it was very easy to do I can just do everything pretty much on, on my Xbox but now in this one I have to record everything live or at least everything if I want to record it so I can't I don't have that theater mode as a uh, as an, a tool to assist me and to make it a little bit easier to, to record but it's it was pretty uh, it's pretty fun actually I, I really like going through all the project M videos you know you get to make a layout you get to select some music uh, I, nothing like really fancy editing or anything because I, uh, I, I really want the the gameplay to be the focus even though I, I know it's it's pretty scrubby gameplay but uh, I think that's why that's why we're the scrub uh, the smash scrub championship so it's pretty scrubby gameplay but I really I really enjoy editing these ones. It's very relaxing. You know, just toss some clips together, you find some songs. Nothing like too in time with music, kind of like the Halo, vi not like the Halo videos really. But uh, it's been really, it's been really good time editing those. Actually, it's been really relaxing when you know when you don't have to go through about four weekends worth of games with like I don't know, like 16 hours worth of games probably. And it's like last week I've I've been through. Uh, <laughs> 
that's not exactly the most fun thing to do, but actually editing together the process, putting it to music, seeing it all come together, seeing the new layout, um, you know, have a new layout for the uh, for a live action portion, or I have like a little mini portion to that will that'll go in there. So if you watch my Super Smash Brothers Melee uh, Ghost Pepper Challenge, you can see I was already starting to mess with a, a live action video. So maybe that'll be something in the future where at certain points during like these montages I'll have like a live action uh, clip or something have someone like put a camera on because yeah, I, I have space for it but for the most part when I'm putting in the I think I'm, I'm calling it the salt cam when I'm putting in the salt cam spot is either going to be like uh, some information about like the player so I'll put like banana owns plays these characters and I still have to make a, a template for that or I'll put like a support Project M thing because uh, you know Project M is on some on some rough times lately. Uh, it video game boot camp. You know it's like the biggest like Smash streamer. Like uh, they, they said that they're not streaming Project M anymore because they're they're afraid of uh, the legal repercussions and even like a lot of the pro like uh, a lot of like the community leaders are saying. Are starting to fall back a little bit on, on Project M because of these uh, legality reasons, because of the legality, because of the legality, the issues. Uh, Project M really is in a, a gray area because it's a mod that was run at tournaments basically. It basically became the fifth Smash game, the, the fourth Smash game before this more fourth Smash game. So it it's in a weird area because I know there's stuff like with the third party characters like Sonic, uh, Snake, even, and maybe some of the stages like the Castlevania stage. It, there's this holding out and then maybe like some of the music actually used in the game as well. So when it, there's this like this whole big issue that I really don't have the time to get into, into huge detail with, but I really support the game so in the end like if uh, Nintendo's not going to support it, or like kind of like the big people aren't going to support it, then it's up to the community then to support it, like the, the little members, like me, you know, put up a video that gets, uh, you know, 80, 80 views, but it gets like 50 views, you know, that's fine for me, I'm, I'm just trying to put the game I like out there, and to, to really get other people to play it, and, and see that, you know, this is fun, you don't have to be, especially the part where like, you don't have to be good, you don't have to be a pro at the game you can just be like us you can be scrubs and you can really enjoy the game and sometimes you can do some impressive things uh ooh, the video's up to 75 views now actually that's a uh, that's pretty good i'm actually kind of impressed by that hopefully it can get more but uh you know maybe not really uh look not really counting on that but uh it, there'll be more project m there'll be a lot more smash i know my, my channel kind of has kind of shifted away. I used to be uh, very Halo centric, and uh, I I I kind of really shifted away from Super Smash Bros. I think that the whole thing with Halo, especially like the the Master Chief Collection being such a disappointment, really kind of killed my kind of really killed, kind of really, it really just killed my, uh, my will to play that game, and, and actually kind of hurt some of my fandom of that game, I really enjoyed the story, but my YouTube channel is kind of taking a back focus, and I know I spent like, I had a long time where I, I wasn't making videos as well, because I kind of just burned out making Let's Plays, which no one really watches, I don't, I don't even think these videos have passed like 10 views for each one, yeah, they don't even have like 10 views for for each one I'm making these because I've been enjoying playing the game and especially for uh, Super Smash Brothers I've been really enjoying playing that game that game is just fun because it's not about the video first it's about just making the game or it's, it's just about playing the game and then making a video out of that so the game is coming first rather than the video and I think that's a kind of something I uh, really lost track of I guess <laughs> You know, it's kind of, 
it, it's kind of sad actually, but uh, I, I've been really having a, a really, really fun time playing this game, and a really fun time playing uh, Smash. But, uh, you know, it, it, it's a whole thing. <laughs> like that. It's a whole thing. But I, I really need, you know, to find, like, another game. Or, to, to really find, like, if, like, I'm, I'm losing my train of thought here, sorry. But, but I don't, I don't know what I'm gonna do after Shovel Knight. I know I was talking about doing, like, another, like, 8-bit-ish game. Like, a Angry Video Game Nerds uh, Adventures. Or, like, maybe, uh, another, maybe, what? Maybe maybe try something on an emulator. Maybe that would be uh that'd be good. I I really I really enjoy <laughs> like, I really enjoy playing this game. It's really different because I used to play a lot of these 8-bit games when I was younger. And, and this is probably this is gonna be absolute terrible commentary because I'm losing my train of thought. Uh, you know, it's been a long week, but. I just think like when when I record in Fraps actually I'm gonna, I'm gonna go off a complete tangent here. Whenever I get hit, uh, Fraps doesn't capture the frame, so my character turns like completely invisible. Because uh, when you get hit, it's like a, a flashing animation. So that's that's a little weird. Oh look at me! I'm gonna absolutely just destroy this boss right here. It gets caught in the corner. But uh, I I really enjoy playing this game. It's really difficult. I'm, it's really difficult navigating fraps. You know, like it's just it's just completely different than like how easy <laughs> like than how easy it is. But uh, I it's been a little fun. Uh, anyway, guys, this has been a really rambly one. I kind of lose my my thought here. But that, anyways, I'll see you in the next one. So enjoy.